guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are taking a look at the cooler SH Figuarts from the Dragon Ball Z line. So let's go ahead and get into it. Taking a closer look at the box, I got my figure from P Bandai themselves for $79.99 with a $10 shipping. This is a fantastic box. I love the art and I think they did a great job. So we're gonna go ahead and get into this thing. I'm gonna go ahead and crack her open. We'll go ahead and slide this. We'll go ahead and throw this out of the way. And we'll go ahead and take this front shield off just to take a look at everything he's got going on. So let's go ahead and look at everything he comes with. So he's got his two pairs of feet. He's got his standing feet and of course his clawed feet. We've got two sets of blaster hands, two gripping fighting hands, two pointing hands, and two different face plates. And of course we've got the two fists that he comes with. And of course his very long articulated tail. All right, so it looks like we've got, oh man, he is so cool, the purple, the white looks fantastic. Oh, let's go ahead and get this plastic out of here. We don't need that no more. Oh man, he feels incredible. He feels solid. He does not feel flimsy whatsoever, guys. And that is definitely reassuring, especially with the price tag of this guy around $80. And I'm glad for how much I spent on it. It is not, it does not feel cheap at all. The points are a little sharp, so be careful with those if you're gonna mess around with those. But he looks fantastic. I know a lot of you wanted to take a look at the articulation. So let's uh, do a quick rundown of that. They basically do the same thing, but let's go ahead and show you. Starting with the ankle, it's on a ball joint here, as you can see, it moves up and down and of course side to side. Going to the knee, it's a double hinged knee, so it actually can bend. And as you can see right here, it actually is more than 90 degrees. Then of course, starting with the hip here, it actually, the quad will swivel back and forth. And of course the hip is on that ball joint as well. We can bend the other knee. Going to the hand, the wrist is actually uh, swivels all the way around. We got that double hinge for the elbow as well. And of course the shoulder and the bicep can swivel all the way around as well. And we got those butterfly joints as well. Then of course, looking at his shoulder pieces here, they actually can bend down and up. However you may want to use those that whatever you want to do for your discretion. Of course, the other hand swivels as well. And of course, same elbow and same connections on the same. His head actually tilts a little bit forward, not so much because of this piece right here. Um, it actually prevents him from moving his head back, but he can move his head okay back and uh, pretty far forward if you need to, but not a lot, but that's all right. Looking at the ab crunch here, he can actually bend pretty good about 45 degrees, maybe a little less, but that's okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at all the accessories he get. Let's go ahead and set him aside. And here is his tail. His tail looks super menacing. It is beefy, guys. We got a ball joint on the hand here that actually connects to his body. And then of course we got another uh, hinge right here, right in the middle, ball joint. We can swivel this all around. We can pinch it in and out. And that is the only two actually uh, joints that is on the tail. That is more than enough to do what you need to do. Only thing I wish they would have added was a little wrap around so we could wrap it around a character's neck and hold them up like he's done in the anime before. Taking a closer look at the two face plates that Cooler comes with, one with the mouth guard and of course the one without. I really like the mouth guard one. He looks a, a lot more intimidating with that on. But of course you could have that exposed mouth where he's smirking just to be a little bit more intimidating or taunting the opponent. Taking a closer look at the first set of hands, we've got a pair of fists. These are great for punching or anything like that, or just standing there grisping your fists like he just got duped by Goku. These second pair of hands are normally known as the blaster hands, or as I put them in the pose here, almost more of like an evil doers thinking pose. I think these are really great and she can show a lot of expression. The third set of hands we're gonna take a look are the fighting hands. I really liked putting him in this pose. It made him look like he just conquered the world and is laughing to the heavens. I think it is such a great pose and also some great hands. And the final pair of hands are two pointy finger hands. These can be used for charging up the death ball like he has or porting down an opponent to try to intimidate. And the final extra accessory are his flying feet. As you can see in this photo here, he could be flying off the ground and getting ready to fight, or you can use them actually for more of a fighting feet, like he can grab a hold of an opponent and throw them to the ground or step on them. These are just a great option and not really ever given in any other figures other than Frieza. So it is nice to have another option of feet 
that can go with the figure. Next, we're gonna take a look at a couple photos that I wanted to recreate from the anime itself. I thought this was really cool and really Tamashi did a fantastic job giving you accessories to completely recreate a lot of those scenes. And we're gonna take a quick look at those now. And guys, I don't know if there's much more to say about this figure. I am extremely happy. If you did not get yours, unfortunately, you could not get it from P. Bandai. There are particular websites like Big Bad Toy Store or Kappa Hobby that do sell these after the market. Um, I'm not sure at the filming of this video if they're available. If they are, I'll put them on the screen right now. Hey guys, Snook Beanie here with a little update. I was able to check Kappa. They are available in stock right now for $23.88 and they have them over at Big Bad Toy Store for $124.99. If you are a Dragon Ball Z fan and you are a villain fan, this is a must have in my opinion. Uh, I am in love with this figure. The purple is just perfectly matted. Looks exactly like him. The white has almost like a like almost like an eggshell off white type of look with the cuts in it. Doesn't make it look cheap at all. So if you are wanting this figure, definitely get him sooner than later because he is P Bandai. He's a web exclusive. And usually they hang around for a little bit after launch. I don't think he's gonna hang out for very much longer. So definitely go over and pick him up. And guys, if you like this content or you're interested in these figures at all, definitely hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Hit the like up on the video. Everything that YouTube wants you to do so you can see more videos like this. And guys, we are almost at 100 subscribers. Thank you for all that has subscribed so far and liked this content. Coming up next, we've got the Super Saiyan 4 Goku that is from Dragon Ball GT coming up on the channel. So don't miss that by hitting that subscribe button. And guys, like always, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Guys, if you have not seen it, Super Saiyan 3 right here. Super Saiyan 3. Also, I've got a Figma right here. It's of the Shield Hero. Season two is coming. Click that video.